Hi, I'm back with another Pokemon analysis. Today we're going to be looking at Rog and Rolla, the Mansa Pokemon. <clears throat> you catch Rog and Rolla in the Wellspring Cave, and you can catch it at levels 10 to 12. So it will always have Tackle, Harden, Sand Attack, and Headbutt. Headbutt is good without Stab, though, with Rog and Rolla's good attack. Rog and Rolla also has very good defense. And its ability is also very handy. Sturdy. Roganola cannot be taken out in one hit. No matter what the case is. Even if it's a one hit KO move, super effective, critical hit, nothing like that. It will always stay in the battle to take at least two hits. Which is actually quite useful because then you can set up with like the stealth rock or something and then all their opponents will be damaged. So that's actually very nice. At level 14, it gets Rock Blast, a rock-type move that is physical, and shoots rocks at the opponent from two to five times. You're going to want to hope for the, that five times because then you can get the most damage out of it. At level 17, it gets Mud Slap, which is a special ground-type move, so it doesn't even get Stab, and it does not go good with Rock and Roll special attack, which is obviously not good. By the way, need it's Rock and Roll's special attack, special defense, and speed are not good. Its HP is okay. Its attack and defense are awesome. So at level twenty, it gets Iron Defense, which raises the already awesome defense by another two stages. So opponents won't be getting many super effective. Lots of damaging hits on you. Level 23 gets Smackdown, which is a f another physical rock type move hitting for 50 power, 75 power with stab. And it, if you hit a flying type with Smackdown, they fall down, so then you can use like Earthquake on them. So it basically takes away flying types, levitate ability, stuff like that. It actually works great on Electros, since Electros has the levitate ability, it's electric type, so it has no weaknesses. So you can use Smackdown, Electros falls down, use Earthquake, Electros faints. Just like that. After evolving, Boulder gets Power Gem at level 1525. Power Gem is a special rock type move. Hidden for 70 power, 105 power with stab, which is actually pretty nice. Not the best move Bulldor will get, but it's good at the, the point in the game that your Rock and Roll will probably evolve at. At level 30, Bulldor gets Rock Slide, which is definitely going to be the move that you're going to keep. <laughs> because Rock Slide has a respectable 90 accuracy, hitting for 75 power without stab, and with stab it even gets more powerful. At level 36 it gets Stealth Rock, which I mentioned before. Like, c goes great with Sturdy, because Bulldor is painfully slow. Like, seriously, it will not be going first in any situation, unless you're holding a Quick Claw, or you're facing like a Munchlax or a Shuckle, because that's the only time you're gonna go first with Rog and Rolla and its evolutions. So yeah, I was say, I, as I was saying, you can get hit, have Sturdy activate, Stealth Rock, and then pretty much. So at level 42, you get Sandstorm, which isn't really that useful because you don't have like Sand Force or Sand Rush or anything. But you do, since you don't get damaged by Sandstorm, and your opponent most likely will. Sorry, I got cut off there. Now, as I was saying, Sandstorm will damage your opponents most likely. So at level 48, you get Stone Edge, which is the main staple for Rock-type moves. Hitting for 80 accuracy and 100 power, 150 with stab. Combining with the great attack equals a whole lot of damage. And pretty much, you will get a chance to use Stone Edge because of the wonderful sturdy ability. 
after that, the only move you can get is Explosion at level 55, which basically, you self-destruct yourself, you lose all your HP, but then you hit the opponent for a 250 power attack, and that's not even with Stab. So basically, unless the opponent is a Steel, Rock, or Ghost type, that's a pretty much two double hit. KO, like you faint, the opponent faints. So anyway, for TMs, you have Toxic, Hidden Power, Hyper Beam, Protect, Frustration, Solar Beam, Smackdown, Earthquake, Return, Double Team, Sandstorm, Rock Tone, Facade, Rest, Attract, Round, Explosion, Giga Impact, Rock Polish, Stone Edge, Bulldoze, Rock Side, Swagger, Substitute, Flash Cannon, Rock Smash, and Strength. Overall, Rock and Roller is a very good Pokemon because it has great defense, awesome attack, average HP, but it doesn't have that good other stats. But as long as you have the sturdy ability and a good physical rock type attack, you're pretty much set with Rock and Roller. So Rock and Roller is a great Pokemon if you don't already have a rock type in mind. And it comes with the wonderful sturdy ability. Which can be annoying if you're facing Rock and Roller, but helps a lot when you are using Rock and Roller. It makes it easier to train, so you can't get one hit KOs when you're training.